Hello Aries and welcome to your love, lust, or loss reading. This is for Aries. All right, Aries, let's see what is going on. Love, lust, or loss for Aries. Okay, let's see. Oh, we have tamed. I've got you where I want you. Resistance is useless. So they may think that, but in fact, I think it may be the other way around. So they may think, you know, this Aries wants me so bad. Um, but in reality, um, I think it's you're the one that's calling the shots here. What do they say? Um, the more submissive one is the one that's more in control. We can't go too deep on that subject, but I feel like that's what they say. Anywho, let us pull some tarot on this and see what the hell is going on. If this resonates with you, Aries, please like, share, and subscribe. Leave me a comment. I would greatly appreciate it. If this does not resonate with you at all, Aries, please do check your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign, as this will not resonate with Air every Aries of cross watchers. Please keep in mind that some of the energies can be vice versa, interchangeable. So, however, it resonates with you. This is for Aries. This is for Aries. What does Aries need to know? Love, lust, or loss? Mm, you're like, mm, I don't know. You're kind of unsure of the situation. So I feel like what is happening here is like the game has changed, right? So you've put up some healthy boundaries here because you started to feel kind of taken advantage of in the situation with this person. They were playing games with you because they thought they had you under their thumb. And now that you have set some healthy boundaries with this person um, and are a little bit more on defense, um, they're wondering what the hell you're doing. And in fact, you could be having a different energy stepping into your life and you're going to have to make a decision between two. But what is happening here is this person's lost control of you when they thought that they were the one that was in control when in reality, you're the one that's in control here. So you kind of um, are pushing them away and they don't like that. And in their mind, um, you've got someone that you're giving your time and attention to. And that is a distinct possibility here with this lovers here. So they're kind of going crazy. And they don't have you uh, like sitting on the couch waiting for them to call. And, and, you know, you like immediately texting them back and all these things. That's not your attitude right now. So seven of wands. This is your attitude. Boundaries. You're on defense. They hurt you because they were playing games with you. And you're just simply not tolerating that right now. And so, nine of wands. So you're going to see a much more, you're taking them down a notch, right? Because they had that big ego uh, you know, player type energy, and you're going to see them oh so emotional. You'd be dealing with a water sign or somebody with water in their chart. So your absence and the way that you're kind of, you know, healthy boundaries and pushing them away and all the things that you're doing, uh, and maybe entertaining another energy here, they are all in their feelings about this very, very vulnerable. Um, and you're going to, you're going to see that vulnerability. 
because they're they're coming to you because they are their ego has been deflated and now they're just emotional that's why they're coming through like this so even though you may think about this person right um they're definitely the it, the energy has shifted like you would just stand still and wait for them to make the decisions you would they text you you would immediately call them uh, call them back or text them back they had you right where they wanted you not anymore now they're all caught up and they're having a hard time with this entire situation and they've lost control of you this is someone that's very much controlled standing still they had you standing still and that is so not the case anymore now they're standing still wait like what is aries doing i see that well aries may be entertaining somebody else we got the lovers here you could be dealing with the gemini but this these are all cards about making decisions and you're going to have one when this person comes towards you with an apology so we got the two of swords here we got the lovers here and we got the two of pentacles up to you at the end of the day on who you want to be with or if you want to be with this person you're unsure about this and so you may some of you not all of you when this person comes back around may have a decision between two but oh, are they going to take action in regards to this? So this inconsistent, I can't make a decision. I don't know. You know, I just want to keep you waiting type of energy. Um, they're going insane. They're going absolutely crazy. Wondering what you're doing. Why are you pulling back? What, you know, uh, who are you with? What is happening here? nine of swords we got the knight of wands and then we got the eight of wands so you're going to be hearing from them they want to talk to you and they're going to take action in regards to this and here you are like mm. the emperor you are full on in control of this like i said they thought they had you right where they wanted you they were mistaken so you're not going to be the one that gets away because they're coming to apologize to you to pull you back in but there's going to have to be a lot of changes that happen you can be dealing with another aries you got the emperor here the five of swords and the knight of cups so apologies but you're the one that is really in control here. You sw you switched it up. Plot twist. Aries is the one that's really in control. They're getting a real good dose of their own medicine. Um, you're just kind of matching their energy here and letting them know that you're not going to be used and you're not, you know, they should have treated you right when you were nice. And you're just not nice anymore. So you were presenting them with a challenge and you're stressing them out. And now they have to chase you. And that is the way that it should be. Because they're playing games. And now they're going to chase you. So love less your loss for Aries. It's love if you want it. You may not want it. Some of you may want some love with somebody else. It's all up to you. All right, Aries, that's what's going on. I hope that resonates with some of you, most of you, all of you. You can now follow me on all the socials. I'll leave those links down below in the description box. You guys have a beautiful day and a great week, and I'll talk to you soon. Take care, and God bless. Hello, Taurus, and welcome to your love, lust, or loss reading. This is for Taurus. Okay, Taurus, let's see what is going on. Love, lust, or loss for Taurus. Ooh, we have toxic. I will lie, I will cheat, I will obsess, I will possess. So you got yourself a doozy here. That's a little bit, mm, 
I want to say devil in disguise, but that mask is slipping. And now at this point, they're kind of obsessed with you. Um, and let's see, let's see what's getting ready to happen here. This is for Taurus. A few cards for you, a few cards for them, and then the outcome. If this resonates with you, Taurus, please like, share, and sub subscribe. Leave me a comment. I would greatly appreciate it. If this does not resonate with you at all, Taurus, please do check your moon, your rising, your Venus sign, as this will not resonate with every Taurus out there. Cross watchers, please keep in mind some of the energies can be vice versa, interchangeable. So however <clears throat> it resonates with you, I'm losing my voice. This is for Taurus. Love, lust, or loss for Taurus. There you are over here. Well, this one's just driving you absolutely nuts. Jealous hearted. Okay. So, you're breaking free of this, whether they like it or not. I feel what's going to happen is you're going to get like a drunk text or a drunk phone call. They're struggling with this. Even though I feel like they've got somebody else in their space right now because I see too I, I see too many people here. And I feel like what happened is they got involved with somebody um, that they work with. Okay, this could be very specific. Um, and it caused a lot of drama and a lot of chaos. Um, they still want you, however. Uh, but you're on your way to someone new here. But it isn't going to stop this person from, like, watching you. Um, and I feel like they've got a lot of issues here. Um, they still want this. They're very determined to get you back into the fold. They've lost complete control of you because they're a fool. A couple things with this. Number one, they're a fool. Number two, you're breaking free of this and you're moving on to bigger and better things. Right? You are on complete defense when it comes to this person. You've tried to block them every which way that you can, but they will get like burner phones or burner, uh, you know, fake accounts or whatever. They're going to get, they're going to be like tipsy or something one night. Things aren't going great where they are. They're dealing with someone that is just as toxic as they are. And you're going to get some sort of message is going to come through. Okay. But uh, you're standing your ground here with this one, right? Warrior, warrior. Seven of wands. So you're out there. You're living your best life. Or you soon will be. Because I see you having to heal from this individual. And again, with the three, they, they brought too many people into this equation. However, you're going to get back on top of your game. You're going to heal and break free from this situation. And you're going to start meeting new people and enjoying your life. They are not going to like this. And whoever it is that they are with, um, is <laughs> they're going to kind of get their anger because of you so whoever that they're with um this person's a very angry person and whoever they're with it's like them knowing that you're moving on and like being happy again the person that they are with is going to get their anger because of you okay i hope that makes sense <clears throat> I'm losing my voice so bad. So three of cups, they want to be with you and they're going to get triggered. All right. So I feel like they're going to sneak, like be sneaky um, in giving you, sending you this message. They're going to be real sneaky about it. Okay. They're also a liar. 
they're also an energetic vampire. And no wonder this is going to drive you absolutely insane. Like, you're moving on, you're happy, you're doing your thing, maybe you're meeting new people, inviting new energy into your life, and then this one comes back around to try to mess up your groove. Do not allow it. Seven of Swords. So here you are regaining your strength. We got the Hermit here. You could be dealing with a Virgo. This is your energy all day. You could be dealing with another Taurus. But this person has drove you absolutely insane. But you're quiet right now. You're healing. You're in that process. And you're regaining your strength here. You want commitment. You want a higher love. It ain't going to be with this person. And you realize that. But when this message comes through, um, it's going to bother you. Um, and you're going to be like, okay, why now? Why now that I'm finally getting back to me and I'm happy? It's because they keep an eye on things, even though that you've blocked them. I strongly feel what happened here was that they got involved with somebody else. And like I said, specifically somebody that they were working with. And um, this one is just as crazy as they are. And it's a shit show. I mean, to be blunt. So <clears throat> you'd be dealing with a water sign with that Queen of Cups there, male or female. We got the Three of Pentacles and we got the Five of Wands. So when they know, hear, or see that you are, you know, back to you and you're living your happy life, they're going to get that jealous streak going. They're going to cause trouble with this one because they're mad at you. And at this stage of the game, wherever they are, it didn't go well. And it's more of a partnership than anything else. So what's going to happen is you're just going to continue to leave them behind and they're going to watch you do it. They're going to try to catch you though. Five of swords here. We got the king of wands. You could be dealing with a fire sign or somebody with fire in their chart. We've got the nine of cups. They still want this. And they're still going to pursue it and you're going to continue to walk away. Okay, you're going to show them that you're not bothered and that you're out here living your best life. It's some sort of, they get triggered because they know you're living your best life. Especially if they even think that you are, you know, enjoying time with someone else. And they're going to get in a vulnerable state. I feel like it's, you know, maybe they get a little tipsy and there's a drunken text that comes through probably from some unidentified caller or some shit like that. Um, or they create a fake account and send, send you, you know, uh, a direct message. Um, but you're going to know it's them and it's going to piss you off, but you're not going to care. So you're out here meeting new people and are open to receive new energies. And so it's love for you and a lot of self-love as well. Um, you're moving on and this person, you, you are a loss. Like you're going to be one of their greatest, you're going to be their greatest loss, Taurus. This one is something else. Okay, big ego on this one. So, that's what's going on, Taurus. You're doing the right thing. I hope that resonates with some of you, most of you, all of you. You can now follow me on all the socials. I'll leave those links down below in the description box. You guys have a beautiful day and a great week, and I will talk to you soon. Take care, and God bless. Hello, Gemini, and welcome to your love, lust, or loss reading. This is for Gemini. All right, Gemini, let's see what is going on. Love, lust, or loss for Gemini. Love, lust, or loss for Gemini. We have Doorway. Do not let this moment pass by. Do something, say anything, take a chance with me. So this is an opportunity that isn't going to always be here. All right, so do you take a chance with this particular person and make this happen or 
Is this going to be something that you wonder about for the rest of your life? So let's see what happens here. This is for Gemini. A few cards for you, a few cards for them, and then the outcome. If this resonates with you, Gemini, please like, share, and subscribe. Leave me a comment. I would greatly appreciate it. If this does not resonate with you at all, Gemini, please do check your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign as this will not resonate with every Gemini out there. Cross watchers, please keep in mind that some of the energies can be vice versa, interchangeable. So however it resonates with you, this is for Gemini. Love, lust, or loss for Gemini. Big decision. Lots of attention. Okay. You're someone new. Look at all these knights here. Well, I feel like you, I feel like it's going to happen. I feel like it happens really, really quickly, and I feel like you're going to um, enjoy this person's energy. Here's the thing, um, and you can assign the roles as you wish, but I feel I feel like this is you. I feel like this is them. Um, it's all this action, right? Knights are action. So there's action going to be taken here. There's passion. There's love. There's a lot of communication. So all the action is going to be taken. Um, your person is currently like in a healing. I'm done. I'm, I'm, you know, not dealing with the past anymore. They're moving forward. And then the two of you just kind of meet and it happens all this action is going to be taken um they're going to be giving you a lot of attention and i feel like you're going to be giving them a lot of attention and it's just it ha it's happening so quickly but you're definitely not going to let this moment pass by now your person is releasing a lot of baggage that they're not going to be bringing with them everybody's got a little bit of baggage but this person had a lot to get through and they're not bringing all that to the table. They're letting go of something really heavy, really, really heavy energy that this person is breaking free from. Now that could be a relationship, it could be just, you know, a job, I mean, it could be anything. But they're moving on from this feeling right here. Okay, so they're breaking free of whatever this is that they were carrying with them, okay? Ten of Wands here. So they haven't been able to really be open to receive anybody until they dealt with whatever heavy energy that they're trying to release. Four of Cups here. Okay. Um, and it doesn't necessarily have to be a relationship. For some of them, it is. Um, for others, it's just like a big job changes others it could be family issues I mean whatever this is uh, they they haven't been focused on relationships um, they're focused on figuring the life out and moving on and you're you are someone new here is the opportunity they're going to take it you're going to take it so, like I said, they've just been, like, rebuilding. They've been working. They've been learning a lot of new things. Um, and you're going to see the effort that they put into the situation here with you. I feel like you've just been kind of the same thing. You've had your head down. You're doing your thing. You're focusing on goals. And, and then all of a sudden, there's this opportunity. And neither one of you are going to uh, let it pass you by. All right? So keep that in mind. Eight of Pentacles here. So this person had to do all of this releasing. So they're going from the nine, very wounded here, uh, whatever it is that they're going through, to the ten. So 
they're kind of they're going to be open to this um they're letting down their own walls they're they're healing and figuring this out on on their own um so that you don't have to play you know therapist or parent or whatever so they're coming to you like with this new lease on life because a, a really heavy chapter is ending for them and you are all about it you're going to be very attracted to this person's energy we got judgment here you're going to be the one that's worried um, about what they think of you um, but I feel like you're going to be doing a lot of flirting and getting their attention and they're going to give it to you okay um, so they're they're most definitely open to receive there's a lot of night energy here a lot of action this is an action fast-paced situation so they're moving on um, they're out of this uh, this stagnant indecision that's what i want to say they're they're getting off some sort of crazy roller coaster ride so we got the six of swords the two of pentacles and the sun card we could be dealing with a leo or somebody with leo in their chart they're moving towards you and you are someone new and they are open to they are open for business okay this is a very healing card and they're ready and they made sure that they were ready for someone like you and so look at all this knight of wands knight of swords and three of cups so and then we got the knight of cups over here so it's love it's passion it's communication it's all very action based and very fast paced and you're going to be spending a lot of time getting to know each other and you're really going to enjoy each other's energy i feel like you're going to be the one that kind of turns up the heat but they're going to be picking up what you're putting down and the two of you are going to go out and enjoy each other and see where it goes so you're going to take this opportunity and so are they so this is an opportunity for for love it starts off with attraction but the more you communicate the more you spend time with this person i feel like there's going to be feelings that are going to get involved here and so they've been dealing with some sort of heavy energy maybe some sort of a loss for them um huge potential for love and there's definitely lust involved in this as well big time attraction so a little bit of everything but the biggest takeaway is this opportunity isn't going to be here for long and you better take it and you are and so are they all right gemini that is your love lust or loss reading i hope that resonates with some of you most of you all of you you can now follow me on all the socials. I'll leave those links down below in the description box. You guys have a beautiful day and a great week. And I will talk to you soon. Take care and God bless. Hello, Cancer, and welcome to your love, lust, or loss reading. This is for Cancer. All right, Cancer, let's see what is going on love lust or loss for cancer love lust or loss let's see we have death the story has been told the lessons have been learned i release you from me never to return so you're pissed um you're done are they done are you ready to move forward or is there some things that still need to be discussed let's find out a few cards for you a few cards for them and then the outcome if this resonates with you cancer please like share and subscribe leave me a comment i would greatly appreciate it if this does not resonate with you at all, Cancer, please do check your moon, 
your rising and your Venus sign as this will not resonate with every Cancer out there. Cross watchers, please keep in mind that some of the energies can be vice versa, interchangeable, so however it resonates with you. This is for Cancer. This is for Cancer. Love, less or loss for Cancer. Let's see. Yeah, you're just kind of done waiting. So they lied about being in a relationship with somebody else. Lots of secrets here. And they're not making any kind of decisions. So the whole situation was unbalanced. Some of them may have even lied, you know, being in a relationship, yes, but some of them may have even lied about being married or whatever the status is they were telling you oh it's just a partnership oh it's you know i'm not happy there and it's just lying okay so you're releasing yourself from this situation and you're moving on you are making a decision to kind of head out into the unknown you're very future forward right now because you feel used in this situation and you are pissed. There were no decisions being made. Even if, you know, you were aware of this person's status, some of you were, some of you were not. They were still lying about the dynamic of the relationship they were in and they kept stringing you, breadcrumbing you along Um <laughs> because they were saying, okay, I'm going to leave this person. I'm going to make this decision. Um, but they never did. So now you're taking control. You're over it. You're, it's, you're, it's very one-sided. And no decisions are being made. And you're tired of just getting very, very little here. Six of Pentacles. I feel like you are shocking this person with the words that are coming out of your mouth, but you're out of there. It's almost like a light bulb went off in your head and you saw the truth for what it is. I feel like maybe you maybe you did a little digging and found out some information and found found out, you know, this person is never going to do the things that they say that they're going to do. They're never going to be able to fully commit to me, so I'm out. Knight of Swords. And then, with all that truth here, pardon me, I've got a cold coming up. Um, then you went quiet. Then you went really quiet. There's going to come a time where they get all emotional and try to break the silence with you, but they're still not going to make the decisions that they're going to need to make. So you're just going to move on at this point. Heartbreaking, but there's too many people here. Right? But they, they're going to, there's going to come a point where they're going to miss your energy and they're going to reach out. And I just don't feel like... A lot of them are not going to be able to get through. So at the end of the day, they're going to just lose you. And they're going to lose you to somebody else because you're you're done. You're, you're done of the false promises, the lies, the sneaking around. You're done with it. So many threes here. Three, 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 three. Three of Pentacles, three of Wands, three of so Swords. And you're literally releasing yourself from this situation and you're turning your back and you are looking towards the future. The future is unknown at this time. I may pull a clarifier on this moon, but you know that there is somebody so much better that has yet to be revealed to you. You're no longer standing still. You are no longer going to be one of these options down here. And this one thinks that they're in control of everybody, right? That's not happening. You're not going to be their friend. You're not going to be 
stick around for in anything. You're done. So they're over here, you know, lying about their relationship status. King of Cups energy could be dealing with another water sign or somebody with water in their chart. Very good at emotional manipulation um, when they're in an unhealthy state. I feel like they're going to come back to you with, you know, I miss you. I blah, 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 blah. It's not going to matter because you can't unsee or unknow the, the lies because they have lied about their relationship status right here, two of cups. And they're unwilling to make any type of decisions. They're still going to be unwilling to make any types of this of decisions. Two of swords, two of wands, all about decisions and making you wait and stalling. And it's like a stall tactic. We got the moon here. And you are stepping out into the unknown, and that's where you're going to find your something better. You can be dealing with a Pisces. So let me clarify that moon. Because you know there are secrets here. You know it like came out and you're just you're over it. Please clarify the moon for cancer. Um, pretty easy here. You're going to be talking to a new attraction. That's that's the, the unknown. <laughs> and boy, wait until you do. And this one finds out about it if they can. You're going to be communicating with someone new that is, for some of you, not yet known to you. Others of you, it may B. Um, so, and it's going to be pretty um, hot here with that Ace of Wands. Pretty lusty for you. Um, so, we'll see how that new attraction goes. Um, it's a loss for this lying manipulator that lied about their relationship status and would not make any kind of appropriate decisions. But it's going to get pretty lusty for you. So you've, you've just taken control. You're over it. You're done. And you're moving on to new energy. All right, Cancer. That's what's going on. I hope that resonates with some of you, most of you, all of you. You can now follow me on all the socials. I'll leave those links down below in the description box. You guys have a beautiful day and a great week. And I'll talk to you soon. Take care and God bless. Hello Leo and welcome to your love, lust, or loss reading. This is for Leo. Alright Leo, let's see what is going on. Love, lust, or loss for Leo. Love, lust, or loss for Leo. We have shadows. My love for you remains, but there is so much confusion. I pretend I do not care, but it's an illusion. So they are kind of behind the scenes keeping an eye on things when it comes to you. And at the same time, trying to move on. It's like this person is of two minds, right? So let's see what the tarot has to say. This is for Leo. If this resonates with you, Leo, please like, share, and subscribe. Leave me a comment. I would greatly appreciate it. If this does not resonate with you at all, Leo, please do check your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign, as this will not resonate with every Leo out there. Cross watchers, please keep in mind that some of the energies can be vice versa, interchangeable. So however it resonates with you, this is for Leo. Love, lust, or loss for Leo. Let's see. Okay, you're just concentrating on you right now. 
Okay, they're out there, you know, kind of like getting involved with other people. And what I think they're going to do here is try to flaunt that to try to get your attention, but they're going to be very disappointed because you're not. It's like um, they're playing games and you're not falling for their old tricks. Like this would used to, this used to get you kind of um, going like it used to trigger your jealousy and action from you, it's not this time. In fact, I feel like you're talking to someone else at the moment and it's just really, really complicated and you're very focused on um, your money and yourself right now. You're focused on real connections. This person is over here messing around with very superficial connections to piss you off, to get your attention. But what's going to happen here is they're going to walk away very disappointed. They're hoping that it's going to trigger some sort of reaction from you um, so that the two of you reconnect, but they're going to be extremely disappointed here. So you're on defense and you're standing your ground with this particular individual. We got the seven of wands here. Um, they're not giving up on it, even though they are pretending to. Um, they need their ego fed, is, is, is what's happening, uh, by other energies and by you. The more attention they get, the better. Seven of Wands here. But you're standing strong, and like I said, you're really concentrating on yourself right now. And uh, just kind of doing you right? Single lady card, single person card, very focused on your money right now, very focused on stability, very focused on your career, and being single because I see you talking to other individuals. I see communication opening up for you and other individuals. This person is somehow aware of that, whether it's through, you know, gossip, whether it's they've got fake accounts or, you know, they're keeping an eye on things. And they don't particularly like um, you standing your ground, you setting healthy boundaries, and you out there being single. They are obsessed and they want to trigger you. Right now, there's so many people involved, it's not even funny. You could be dealing with a Capricorn or somebody with Capricorn in their chart. There's new people that are going to be, you know, entering your life that you're going to be talking to. There is new people on their end, and it's all just, you know, very, very toxic at this point. But they're, you know, behind the scenes, in the shadows, obsessing over what you are doing. So they want to return. They want to get back to the way that it used to be. That's what I want to say. The way that it was in the beginning. But um, things got pretty nasty here between you and this individual. You got history with this person. But at this stage of the game, even, you know, they're going to try to return in a weird way by trying to trigger action from you. Um, but it's not going to work. And at the end of the day, I think you're just going to be a memory to this person. Six of Cups here. So, this is you over here just doing your thing, stabilizing yourself. You could be dealing with an earth sign with that queen of pentacles energy. We got the six of pentacles and we've got the eight of wands. You feel very used by this person. They like to play mind games. Um, you feel it was very, you know, imbalanced here. This was you like begging for their time, their attention, and they give, gave you very little bit. So you decided to kind of I want to say like match their energy and just do everything that they were doing to you and you're just pouring into yourself right now and focusing on your money, your goals, the real connections and I feel like there's a lot of activity coming your way in regards to attention from other people. 
Uh, we got that eight of wands there. So, you know, you are going to start talking, if you haven't already, to, to new energies, but you're going to be very selective in regards to um, who you deal with at this point, especially in this, you know, I'm grounded, I'm stable, I'm, you know, like self-care type of feeling right here. Now, this person over here, would they love to talk to you? Yes, um, but you are very much on defense with this person. So they're out here flirting around with new um, energies and, you know, just out there having a good time. And they want you to know this. So they're going to flaunt their activity in every way that they can because they're pretending like they're not bothered, but they're very much bo bothered that you're not giving to the situation anymore, that you're not being triggered. Um, so they're out there kind of, um, I don't want to say trash, uh, but that's the only word I can think of. They're out there like mingling with trash. Okay. So we got the Page of Wands, Ace of Wands, and the Three of Cups. And they want you to know this. So whether they're, you know, letting their mutual friends or whatever know that, you know, hey, I'm out here, I'm having a good time, I got some new situations going, I'm all this and all that. It's all a show for you. They're putting on a show for you to get you triggered because they so desperately want your attention. Whether it's good attention, whether it's ne negative attention, because they feel like you don't care anymore. And guess what? You don't. So they're gonna walk away disappointed here because you're not really wanting to reconnect with them at this time. This person has a lot of growing up to do. So we got the Six of Wands, the Five of Cups, Temperance card. You could be dealing with the Sagittarius. So they're out here, you know, mingling with some interesting characters. Um, and there's, they've got a certain type, that's for sure. But at the end of the day, they're trying to get any kind of attention that they can from you. But you're over here like, I'm busy. I can't even, I don't, you know, go on. Go sleep with your trash. So, I mean, self-love for you and you're opening up the door to certain individuals that you're going to be speaking with if you're not already very selective um so you're just kind of you know kind of getting back out there they're over here just putting on a show and it's all for your benefit it's all to try to get your attention so don't let them trigger you that's all i got to say because they, they're going to walk away disappointed. You are a loss for them. All right, Leo, that's what's going on. I hope that resonates with some of you, most of you, all of you. You can now follow me on all the socials. I'll leave those links down below in the description box. You guys have a beautiful day and a great week. And I will talk to you soon. Take care. And God bless. Hello, Virgo, and welcome to your love, lust, or loss reading. This is for Virgo. All right, Virgo, let's see what is going on. Love, lust, or loss for Virgo. We have Moonstruck. My desire for you keeps me awake. My mind goes crazy. My heart starts to race. So, seems like 
they're crazy about you, right? Are you crazy about them? Is it a mutual situation? Let's dive a little deeper and see what the tarot has to say. A few cards for you, a few cards for them, and the outcome. Love, lust, or loss for Virgo. If this resonates with you, Virgo, please like, share, and subscribe. Please leave me a comment. I would greatly appreciate it. If this does not resonate with you at all, Virgo, please do check your moon, your rising, your Venus sign, as this will not resonate with every Virgo out there. Cross watchers, please keep in mind some of the energies can be vice versa, interchangeable, so however it resonates with you. This is for Virgo. This is for Virgo. What does Virgo need to know? Let's see. Okay. Okay. So both of you, I feel, are kind of going through some changes here. This is going to be a new situation here for you. Um, you are breaking free from a really negative energy. You're leaving that behind. I'm seeing new, right? It's like you're healing from being trapped by this devil energy. Now your person over here is... They're manifesting. They're creating change in their life in big, big ways. And they're, they're very determined, okay? This person has been in the trenches with just about every... They're coming through as like a warrior, right? They're a fighter. That's why we got the Seven of Wands here. And they do not give one shit about what anybody says about anything. This person kind of beats, you know, what is it, marches to the beat of their own drummer. And there's a lot of changes and transformations happening because they are creating a whole new reality for themselves. And then, boom, um, they see you right here, right here. And um, they're going to kind of uh, watch you a little bit but at the end of the day, this is a new chapter for both of you. So they, they get struck by you, <laughs> okay? And they feel like you are the person that they've manifested and that they've called in. So, um, yeah, I, I feel like this is someone that maybe a lot of you haven't crossed paths with with this moon here um, but you will and then there will be an offering of love from this person we got the knight of cups here so they're not going to be um, kind of in the shadows observing you for very long because they like what they see and so they go after what they want knight of cups both of you, especially you, by the looks of these cards, have been very disappointed in uh, your love experience thus far. And, you know, I feel like as soon as you look up and look around, I feel like you may see them. Five of Cups here. So you've been dealing with a lot of karmic situations and I feel like your person has too. You could be dealing with a Libra or somebody with Libra in their chart. At the end of the day, it's going to be up to you if you want this person, right? They're going to be absolutely crazy about you. It's going to be up to you if you want them. So decisions, decisions in the hands of the queen of pentacles. That is you all day, right? You could be dealing with another earth sign or somebody with earth in their chart. I feel like you're gonna play it kind of cool, calm and collected and see if this person is for real considering what you have just released yourself from. Um, so you're just getting back to you and this person feels like they've manifested you into their life. They feel like you're the one. 
and you've got some decisions to make in regards to, you know, is this is this person going to take the situation with me seriously because you're tired of this type of energy not taking you seriously. You can be dealing with a Capricorn or somebody with Capricorn in their chart. We got the devil here. We got the sun here. You can be dealing with a Leo. And then we've got this eight of swords here. So you have been healing. You, you felt so stuck because of this negative energy that you've had to deal with. It's been very disappointing. But the sun is here. You are freeing yourself from this right here. And nothing can stop this situation from happening. It's like it's finally happening because you're finally breaking free, really breaking free and healing from this toxic energy. Okay, so this is someone new wanting to come into your space and they are a fighter and they don't give a shit what anybody else has to say. And they haven't given up on love. They just want someone completely different than what they've dealt with as well. So both of you are going to be like a breath of fresh air to each other. You can be dealing with a Scorpio or somebody with Scorpio in their chart. This person is very good at um, making things happen and creating change in their life, right? But they've been through... A little bit of hell in their left life as well okay so we got the seven of wands the death card and the magician now the outcome here is you are standing strong and fierce and independent this person is going to be presented to you when you are ready and this is going to create a new chapter in your life so when the two of you cross paths this person they're going to be quiet about, you know, how taken they are with you. They're not going to, like, freak you out or anything. Um, but they're going to let you know that they're highly interested in the Virgo. So we got the Nine of Pentacles. We got the Moon here. That's Piscean energy. And we got the world. So they're all about it. And they're going to be crazy about you. And you're going to see how different uh, this person is. And they are praying. You are completely different than what they dealt with as well. Like I said, you're, you're going to be each other's breath of fresh air. And you're going to enjoy each other. And this is a whole new reality that you're getting ready to step into. And this person created it. It's like the universe was on hold for this whole situation because you had to really see what you were dealing with, release yourself from this devil energy, and be open to new experiences. And this one is a hell of an experience. All right, Virgo, love, lust, or loss, that is love, if you want it up to you at the end of the day. I hope that resonates with some of you, most of you, all of you. You can now follow me on all the socials. I'll leave those links down below in the description box. You guys have a beautiful day and a great week, and I will talk to you soon. Take care, and God bless. Hello, Libra, and welcome to your love, lust, or loss reading. This is for Libra. Love, lust, or loss for Libra. Love, lust, or loss for Libra. Let's see. We have pleasure. I crave you. I taste you. I feel you. I will give you ecstasy. So clearly, um, this person is doing some fantasizing. Maybe you are too, Libra. Um, pretty intense here. So let's see what's going on. They want the full Libra experience. A few cards for you, a few cards 
for them and then the outcome. If this resonates with you, Libra, please like, share, and subscribe. Subscribe if I could talk. I would greatly appreciate it. If this does not resonate, please do check your moon, your rising, your lunar sign, as this will not resonate with every Libra out there. Cross watchers, please keep in mind some of the energies can be vice versa, interchangeable, so however it resonates with you. This is for Libra. Love, lust, or loss for Libra. Very attracted to your energy. They're watching you. Okay. You're thinking about them too. Okay. So... You may have some traveling going on. There could be some distance here between you and this person, okay? Um, thinking about you, watching you, but there's this missing, there's this, like, this longing. I see the three of swords there, and so I feel like there's distance between you and this person right now, but that will change that will change and when you see them again it's um it's going to be something else libra i can only say so much here on this platform okay so when you see them again it's it's happening six of swords here everybody's going crazy i feel like they're crazy about you, you're crazy about them, and there's this like missing each other, right? Uh, but again, when you see each other again, it's it's um, it's going to be this right here. It's like they're watching. They're so attracted to your energy. They're like researching you. They're they're watching. They're keeping an eye on things gaining information about you and they're pulling you back in and you can feel it. So when they're up at night thinking about you, it, you can feel it. You can feel it. And so there's a lot of dreaming. There's a lot of fantasizing. They cannot wait to get the full Libra experience. I'm going to put it that way. Nine of Swords here. So this is a very slow moving situation, but they are quite serious about you. Right? Knight of Pentacles, that horse is very, very slow. I also feel like they are like stabilizing themselves. Right? Maybe they are working, just working and getting their money right so that you see them like this, right? The emperor, they're in control. You, you kind of make them lose control, but they're trying to like get control. They want you to see them just like this. You could be dealing with an Aries, right? They feel this like past life can, I'm gonna start over here. They feel a past life connection to you. They're thinking about you. Cool, calm, and collected here. You could be dealing with an earth sign. And then we got the Knight of Swords, Six of Cups. They're ready. They're ready. And it's it happens so, like, so suddenly. But I do feel like there's traveling involved at this point. Um, and they can't get you off of their mind because they're so attracted to your energy. You could be dealing with the Leo. We got the sun here, the magician, and we got the page of swords. They are obtaining information about you one way or another, and they're calling you back in. They're calling your energy back to them. 
by thinking about you all the time because you can feel, you literally can feel it. And this person may very well know what, the, what they're doing. So Knight of Cups, Three of Swords, Queen of Swords. This is you all day, right? You could be dealing with another air sign or somebody with air in their chart, but they miss you. And you're going to know how much they miss you here pretty quick. So they're coming towards you with love. They're coming towards you with sincerity here. Um, and yeah, so they miss you. And anything that is in between the two of you, that's going to be resolved. So they want you to see them in a certain way, right? This emperor energy, because you are empress energy, right? That Libra, Venus energy. So they want you to see them as like their divine other half. And you're going to know just how crazy they are about you. And um, I feel like they very well may get the full Libra experience. Love, lust, or loss. It's crazy lusty right now. But they, they can't seem to stay away from you. And when you're not like around... It drives them crazy. I'm going to say there's love here. There's a, an intense soul connection as well. All right, Libra, that is your love, lust, or loss reading. I hope that resonates with some of you, most of you, all of you. You can now follow me on all the socials. I'll leave those links down below in the description box. You guys have a beautiful day and a great week, and I will... Talk to you soon. Take care and God bless. Hello, Scorpio, and welcome to your love, lust, or loss reading. This is for Scorpio. All right, Scorpio, let's see what you need to know. Love, lust, or loss for Scorpio. Let's see. We have drowning. My tears for you will not stop falling. My heart is shattered. I have lost you. So this could be you. This could be them experiencing the loss of a relationship. I feel like um, this person is <laughs> mourning the loss of you a lot deeper than you think they are. Like you think they don't even care. So... Let us pull some tarot and see what's going on. <laughs> Love, lust, or loss for Scorpio. A few cards for you, a few cards for them. And then the outcome. If this resonates, please like, share, and subscribe. Leave me comments. I would greatly appreciate it. If this does not resonate with you at all, Scorpio, please do check your moon your rising and your venus sign as this will not resonate with every scorpio out there cross watchers please keep in mind some of the energies can be vice versa interchangeable so however it resonates with you this is for scorpio this is for scorpio What does Scorpio need to know? Oh, I see what's going on. Okay. So, they've lost you to someone else. You've got a new lover in your midst that actually has potential. Um, they're going to come towards you, this person, um, it's, and I just don't think you're going to um, partake in their emotional activities because they too, they too have, um, it's almost, 
almost like they are addicted to um, being physical. I'm trying to say this delicately. They have some, uh, like a, an addiction to like um, being physical with other people. That's what I'm seeing here. And it's very toxic and you really don't want anything to do with them. They um, should have been committed to you. They were not because they let these hidden addictions, I'm looking at this, kind of just mess everything up. So they got some issues. They're, yeah. So the things were not balanced and you got tired of being used and, and strung along, right? You're very generous, very kind to this person and you withdrew your energy. Six of Pentacles. Because they were out there just having a good old time doing whatever they want. Honestly, they're, they're, they're a bit of a hoe. So you're out here, you know, you've kind of shut them down. You're completely ignoring them. You're like, no. And you're moving on with your life. I see you out there enjoying your life, hanging out with friends, getting back out there, just hanging out with family, just enjoying yourself, right? And all of a sudden, some new situation is brewing over here. They know about this. And even though they are doing whatever they want with this right here, I'm being delicate. Um, they, they they're hurt that you found so that you're finding somebody else. They've really lost you, and this is why they're crying. So I feel like you're doing the right thing here, Scorpio by getting out there and enjoying yourself and welcoming in new energy, three of cups. You're moving on. You're leaving this person behind and they know it. Six of swords. So the issue with this person is that they always have to have control. You could be dealing with an Aries or somebody with Aries in their chart. Um, They've lost control of you. That's the biggest issue. And their ego is taking a hit because you're moving on to, to somebody else and now they're crying. Now they are crying. So here's you over here. You be dealing with the Gemini. You could be dealing with the Libra Taurus energy with this Empress. And then we have the Four of Cups. So you got, you know... A new situation brewing. You're following your heart towards that. You're seeing a potential with someone new. You're seeing growth here. And you are not interested in the past when they come back around. You're just like, no, I don't want anything to do with you. Go, go cry about it. Because I see them trying to come back here. They're over here. You know, what should have been... A really easy situation became a very hard situation. Um, what you wanted was something more traditional, right? We have the Hierophant here, Taurus energy again. What they wanted was to secretly spread their love here. And we all know, right? The Ace of Wands is a very phallic card. If you don't know what phallic means, look it up. Again, I'm trying to be very delicate here. So they pretended that they were traditional, but they had hidden attractions and it, it was like an, an addiction. Pisces energy, if I didn't say that right here. It was toxic. It was like an addiction that they had to be physical with other people, to view physical happenings, if you know what I'm saying, between other people. They have issues. So, 
Capricorn energy with the devil here, the Knight of Cups, and the Strength card, Leo energy. You are stronger than this devil energy now. You don't want nothing to do with them. And here they come trying to get your attention and apologize. Why? Because you move, you're moving on with somebody else. And you don't want this negativity in your life. You just don't. You definitely cannot trust them, but the, the biggest takeaway here, you moving on, they've lost control of you, and they can't stand it. And they were still hoping that they had a shot at this, but now that you're moving on with somebody else, they realize that they've really lost you. So Scorpio, love, lust, or loss, it's potential beautiful love for you. You've got someone new in your midst that ha actually has potential for growth the way that you want it to go. It is a loss for this extremely toxic, controlling, big ego energy. That's what's going on here. All right. So, yeah, I hope that resonates with some of you, most of you, all of you. You can now follow me on all the socials, and I will leave those links down below in the description box. You guys have a beautiful day and a great week, and I will talk to you soon. Take care, and God bless. Hello, Sagittarius, and welcome to your love, lust, or loss reading. This is for Sagittarius. Love, lust, or loss for Sagittarius. We have courage. I rise from the ashes and I take what is mine. I hunt, I pursue, I win. Why do I feel like that is more you right now. Like that's the kind of mood you are in. You want what you want. And that's it. So let's see. What's going on here? I feel like something's pissed you off. This is for Sagittarius. Two cards for you. A few cards for them and then the outcome. If this resonates with you, please like, share, and subscribe. Leave me a comment. I would greatly appreciate it. If this does not resonate with you at all, Sagittarius, please do check your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign as this will not resonate with every Sagittarius out there. Cross watchers, please keep in mind that some of the energies can be vice versa, interchangeable. So however it resonates with you, this is for Sagittarius. What does Sagittarius need to know? Okay. You follow in your heart, you're nervous to do it. Okay. It's going to pay off, though. All right. So you haven't been completely honest in regards to your feelings about a certain situation. Okay. This is like you're at a point where it's now or never. So there is someone that you want, someone you have a special connection with. And then over here, there is someone very difficult that has pissed you off to the point where you're going for the connection you actually want to be in. That's what I'm seeing here. So there's been a lot of not expressing the truth, right? And... I feel like you're cutting out, you're ending a chapter to pursue a new chapter because the old chapter is chaos and it's played out and the person that you're dealing with is 
very, very difficult. So you're kind of out the door, right? And I feel like you are expressing your truth to someone that you really want to be with. And that truth is paying off right here. Seven of Swords. So this is the one that you've had your eye on. But the one that you were with has had an eye on you while you've had your eye on them. And it's crazy. It's caused a lot of tension. It's caused a lot of jealousy here. So everybody's watching everybody. You have been watching this new situation that you want. That's what you want. Ace of Cups. And you're finally to the point of, you know, you're ready to close this chapter with this very difficult controlling energy. So you can open up the door to this new love. Ace of Cups here. So it's very heavy um, time for you right now. Um, a lot of worry around this, like, okay, you know, wondering, am I making the right decision? Does this new person even want me like that, you know, want to, to, to be with me? Um, you're going to have to find out because what you've been involved in is, is coming to a close. And you're releasing it. Ten of Wands energy. So that someone special has been on your mind, and you're like you you're freeing yourself to follow your heart. Gemini energy here. This is you. Like, what do I do? What do I do? I want to close this this old chapter so I can start a new one. I want to fully close this old chapter, nail it shut, so that I can be with the one I want to be with, right? And it's a lot of pressure. It's a lot of stress. You don't know how things are going to pan out. But that's why this is here. Right here. So the person that you're closing the door on, right? You thought it was a happy situation at first, but they like turned on you. Um, and now it's just constant jealousy, constant fighting, constant, constant. Five of wands there. And then we got the king of swords. That's air energy. You could be dealing with an air sign. And then we got the ten of cups. So it was something that, you know, you thought would last forever. But this person, it has a very controlling nature and a very jealous hearted nature. <clears throat> and they like watch you. They watch you and they watch you and they watch you and it's, it drives you absolutely insane and it causes a lot of problems. Um, so what you're going to do is close this chapter and it takes a lot of courage to do that so that you are free to be with the one you want to be with. So what's going to happen there? Well, yeah, you actually have to get a conversation started and kind of speak your truth a little bit here. You've manifested this. You created this. You wanted this. And you land pretty softly. So we have the Four of Wands, the Page of Wands, and the Magician. So um, you land pretty softly here. And I think the one you want to be with wants to be with you. So love, lust, or loss, that is love, that is a loss for the person that tries to, like, control you and tries to call the shots and tracks you or whatever it is that they're doing. And you just, you've hit, you've, you, it's kind of like you've hit your breaking point. And you're speaking your truth all over the place. And it works out in your favor. So there you go. I hope that resonates with some of you.
most of you, all of you, you can now follow me on all the socials. I'll leave those links down below in the description box. You guys have a beautiful day and a great week. And I will talk to you soon. Take care and God bless. Hello Capricorn and welcome to your love, lust, or loss reading. This is for Capricorn. All right, Capricorn. Whoops. Oh, well, this one wanted to pop out. We have Secret Admirer. I like to watch. I like what I see. I fantasize about you and me. So, someone is very interested in you, but they haven't quite said anything yet. So, admiring you from afar. Let's see what the tarot has to say. A few cards for you, a few cards for them, and then the outcome. If this resonates with you, Capricorn, please like, share, and subscribe. Leave me a comment. I would really appreciate it. If this does not resonate with you at all, Capricorn, please do check your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign, as this will not resonate with every Capricorn out there. Cross watchers, please keep in mind that some of the energies can be vice versa, interchangeable. So, however, it resonates with you. This is for Capricorn. Love, lust, or loss for Capricorn. Love, lust, or loss for Capricorn. Let's see. Ooh, there you are. This is your energy. No wonder they are admiring you. Okay, you're just hard at work doing your thing. And they're over here trying to <laughs> control themselves. Okay, so you got two different uh, vibes here. Um, I feel like you are looking at this person as possibly a friend or a colleague or some sort of acquaintance. They are extremely attracted to you and they will take action on this. There is a fear of, it's like you just, you don't, you're not even noticing this. You're not even seeing what's right in front of you here. You got your head down, you're working, um, you're just over here just kind of doing your thing. You're working, you're working, you're working, then you rest, and then you work, and then you rest. And you're just kind of doing you and building yourself up here. They're over here like trying to pull themselves back. So you may, you know, start to notice that this person is interested, but I just feel like you're concentrating so much on yourself right now that it's going to take a whole lot more than that one little fish to get your attention. Do you see what I'm saying? So page of cups here. So they're wishing for it, right? They're wishing. Um, it's all about timing. They may be trying to do like little things to get your attention. You may start to notice this person hanging around you too much. I strongly feel like this is a workplace situation. Some of you may be school. Um, this is a very friendly um, acquaintance, work colleague type of feel to it. Okay. So you could be dealing with an Aquarius or somebody with Aquarius in their chart. Um, timing, right? This is what they want. This is what they're wishing for. You are what they wish for. But at the end of the day, they know that it's your decision. They're into you. They have no idea if you would be into them. So, and they do have like this fear of rejection going on, but they will take action on this. You're going to start seeing this person hanging around a lot, or like hanging around you a lot more. Asking you like just stupid questions just so that they can talk to you. So be gentle. <laughs> 
they just want to be around you, okay? So they're just trying to figure out the best way to go about this, and they're just going to have to be bold. Two of Wands here. So this person, <laughs> you could be dealing with an air sign or somebody with air in their chart. Very, very smart, okay? Very, very... Um, they got a wicked sense of humor, that's what I want to say. But they're very intelligent and they're a little awkward. They're a little awkward, but they're they are kind of getting their courage up. That's what I'm seeing here. This is you over here. You can be dealing with a Libra, Taurus, right? Empress card. We got the Eight of Pentacles, we got the Four of Swords. You're just doing you right now, building yourself back up. You're working, you're learning things, you're resting. Um, it's like you're preparing. And I just, you know, you're having a hard time seeing what's kind of right in front of you. But you're just doing you. And that's fine. And this is how they're seeing you. Like you're just this amazing energy that they want to see, you know, like a, a new beginning with to see if there's the potential for growth between the two of you. So this person's going to start acting kind of, mm, they may start to do, like, like I said, little weird things, ask you stupid questions, you know, just to be around you, kind of get a feel for the situation. They want to take a chance on this. They hold back half the time um, because they need a lot of courage here because you're not paying them any kind of attention at all. So Leo energy here and then we got the Ace of Swords. They want to win, okay? And I feel like there's going to come a point where they're going to be real direct with you because you are not picking up what they're putting down and they're figuring out, okay, I got to really say what I need to say to this Capricorn because they're little quirky attempts at flirting or just being around your energy it's just it's not working because you're you're not paying any attention here you're keeping it all business page of pentacles right so you're really making this person work for it <laughs> and i don't even think you you realize because you're not looking at at what they're doing here so this is them taking action and being a whole lot more bold, bold, bolder. <laughs> that doesn't make sense, does it? Maybe it does. So Knight of Wands, Page of Pentacles, Four of Cups. Um, yeah. So they're going to make absolutely sure you notice them. Um, they're getting over their fear of rejection here. Them kind of, you know, flirting around and trying to do things in a weird way, ain't getting it. They got to be bold and take action to get your attention, to get you to look over here. Because you're over here like, yeah, good morning. Sure. Uh-huh. Have a great lunch. You know, I mean, it's just all, you know, businessy. You know, you got those files for me or whatever. Can I borrow your notes? Um, it's just like that. And you're just like, I am laser focused on what I'm doing here. And they're like, hey, pay attention to me. So they're realizing that they got to really step up their game. And they will. And then you're going to have to decide if you like them or not. If you're interested in... Um, pursue let allowing them to pursue you because they are in hot pursuit here love luster loss for capricorn i'm going to say that is lust with a potential for love if you want it all right so there you go i hope that resonates with some of you most of you all of you you can now follow me on all the socials. I'll leave those links down below in the description box. You guys have a beautiful day and a great week. And I will talk to you soon. Take care. And God bless. 
Hello Aquarius and welcome to your love, lust, or loss reading. This is for Aquarius. All right, Aquarius, let's see what is going on. Love, lust, or loss for Aquarius. Love, lust, or loss for Aquarius. We have dreams. We talk in my dreams. You tell me your secrets and I tell you mine. So this is one of those connections that feels kind of telepathic. I feel like your higher selves are trying to work some things out to get you together. All right. So let's see what the tarot has to say. A few cards for them, a few cards for you, and then the outcome. If this resonates with you, Aquarius, please like, share, and subscribe. Leave me a comment. I would greatly appreciate it. If this does not resonate with you at all, Aquarius, please do check your moon, your rising, your Venus sign, as this will not resonate with every Aquarius out there. Cross watchers, please keep in mind that some of the energies can be vice versa, interchangeable. So however it resonates with you, this is for Aquarius. Love, lust, or loss for Aquarius. Let's see. Okay. There's going to be a little twist of fate with this. There's the person that is kind of, they're laying there, right? Thinking about you, thinking about how do I speak to this amazing Aquarius here. So it's like waiting for the right time, waiting for the right time. Um, I feel like the timing to kind of for the universe to put you together here is because you're getting like it's like you you're getting kind of control of your life um, there could be uh, a new job coming your way that's going to help improve you financially it's like you're over here just kind of getting some things like lined out that's what I'm seeing here and they're over here you know um, kind of waiting to meet you so all this waiting all this divine timing it's happening um and maybe they're doing the same thing maybe they're kind of getting their life together too obstacles are being cleared here for the two of you it's like your higher selves are kind of working on this um but this is you know they're dreaming of a certain energy that they want in their life they're manifesting and maybe you're doing the same so we got the high the hangman here <laughs> the high hangman <laughs> no just the hangman um so there's this waiting uh, but there's this enlightenment that's happening and i feel like that's with both of you maybe you both feel each other coming you know so when it happens, it happens in a big way. This is, um, this love is going to be uh, something that changes your life completely and changes their life completely. This is all fate. This is all destiny. And I feel like you're working on rebuilding some things. They're working on rebuilding some things. But they want, like, they want you. They just haven't met you yet. All right? So, when the stars align, the stars align. I feel like you're both, like, manifesting each other. So, the person of your dreams, right? You, this is your energy, but you could be dealing with another Aquarius. 
it's all going to align exactly when it's supposed to align. And this will be a wish fulfillment for the both of you. And when you see them, you're going to start talking to them and, and that's it. It just starts, it, it all starts with like a simple conversation and it goes from there. So eight of wands. So waiting and preparing, clearing any obstacles that are in your way. And I feel like finances play a big deal in that. You could be dealing with an Aries or somebody with Aries in their chart. We got the Emperor here. We got the Knight of Pentacles and we've got the Five of Pentacles. So I feel like you and, and maybe this other person are kind of getting control and, and preparing and getting finances in order and things like that. I feel like there's possibly um, a, f a financial opportunity coming your way as well that's going to help you um, with this money worry. But emotionally, you want the right person. You want somebody that is your divine other half. Um, you always feel like you're on the outside looking in at love, right? Maybe you're seeing um, all these, you know, people holding hands or kissing or something like that, and you feel bad, right? But in reality, that's the universe trying to signal you, hey, this is going to be you here in a hot minute, so you better get ready. So if you start seeing signs like that of couples everywhere don't feel bad about it um because that that's kind of like the universe trying to give you a hint hey aquarius you know what that's going to be you um so we've got the page of wands the four of swords and the nine of pentacles this person um like i said there's some sort of recovery going on from the this individual but there's also i mean laying there right sleeping dreaming thinking um and just kind of waiting uh they want a specific type of energy in their life somebody that is you know a little bit more independent um somebody that's got it going on you definitely want somebody that's got it going on as well and they're willing Whenever the time is right, they're going to be letting you know that they're very interested. You are the person they've been dreaming about. And so one step at a time, a lot of effort is going to be put into this. But currently, both of you are rebuilding, right? And there's this waiting. Seven of Pentacles here. Queen of Swords, that's you all day. You'll be dealing with another air sign. Um, and then you're just like, come on, fate, come on, destiny, right? And it's coming. The universe understands, hears you, and your higher selves are hard at work on making this little plot twist happen. Um, when you cross paths, you're going to know, they're going to know, because you literally feel each other coming towards each other. Love, lust, or loss for Aquarius, and that is love. That's um, like the love you've been waiting for, both of you. All right, that's what's going on. I hope that resonates with some of you, most of you, all of you. You can now follow me on all the socials. I'll leave those links down below in the description box. You guys have a beautiful day and a great week, and I will talk to you soon. Take care, and God bless. Hello, Pisces, and welcome to your love, lust, or loss reading. This is for Pisces. All right, Pisces, let's see what is going on. This is for Pisces. Love, lust, or loss for Pisces. Love, lust, or loss for Pisces. Let's see. We got some new love. It's time to make a move. It's time for conversation. The start of something sweet. The end of hesitation. 
So that's good, right? So you got someone new in your atmosphere. Let's take a deeper look here with the tarot. A few cards for you, a few cards for them, and then the outcome. If this resonates with you, please like, share, and subscribe. Leave me a comment. I would greatly appreciate it. If this does not resonate with you at all, Pisces, please do check your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign, as this will not resonate with every Pisces Cross watchers, please keep in mind that some of the energies can be vice versa, interchangeable. So however it resonates with you, this is for Pisces. This is for Pisces. What does Pisces need to know? Love, lust, or loss for Pisces. Ah, this is someone unknown to you that you have called in. Very good. And they are all about it. They're really all about it. This is beautiful. Okay. And so I feel like maybe both of you have been through like a healing period, but things have been quiet on the love front. And you're just over here manifesting, you know. This one's going to feel like this instant attraction and soul connection to you and uh, they're going to be really excited about it <laughs> okay and it's like you're using your magical powers to make this happen so good for you you can be dealing with a virgo or somebody with virgo in their chart and you know things have been quiet you've just been doing a lot of soul searching some healing and maybe they have been too but uh, this one's ready for you and you're ready for them so healing from big disappointments in regards to your previous love history so I feel like you're calling in a completely different type of energy no more bad boys no more bad girls this one's got it going on and they're dead as serious about you because you're so sick of being disappointed right five of cups so a lot of your lessons in love have made you stronger. And um, I feel like you're a force to be reckoned with right now. You're, you're ready for change. This is all major arcana over here. You can be dealing with a Leo or somebody with Leo in their charts. Uh, I do want to say for some of you, a Leo has disappointed you previously, but you've become stronger and fierce and courageous and but you want something completely different than what you usually deal with um so you've just been kind of you know working and waiting and seeing what's up but i see you over here um maybe some of you are doing a little bit of workings it's what i want to say with that card like okay do, 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 manifesting we'll call it manifesting um, but you've just been rebuilding and I feel like you know the person that you're dealing with is very hard working I want to say that they are very hard working and uh, you're not going to have to worry about um, like taking care of them and for things to be in balance, Eight of Pentacles here. So this is you over here all day. You have learned a lot of karmic lessons here, Pisces. Right? We got the Magician here. We got the Moon here. That's you all day. We got Justice here. And that is Libra energy. But you've been calling it in. You may have been working with the energy of the Moon, right? We release during full moons, we call in during new moons. And you're ready for what is to come. You're ready to step into the unknown. And when this person is revealed to you, um, you're gonna know that they're the one that you've manifested, okay? You're very powerful right now. So you've learned a lot of lessons and you're making a very clear 
decision with that sword right there that whoever's coming, it has to be balanced because you're tired of being disappointed and taken advantage of. Now, when this person sees you, so we got the Ace of Wands here and we got the Tower, right? We got the Two of Cups here, but let's talk about the Ace of Wands and the Tower. Now, these two are very phallic cards. And like I always say, you can look that up because I can't say it here. Um, let's just say you're a little bit of a shock to their system. Maybe you're going through some sort of a glow up here and they're just like, hell yeah, look at that Pisces. Um, but it, you kind of blow their mind and they're very attracted to you. It's like fireworks, right? And they see you and they it's instant, instant soul connection and they are all about it. You're not going to have to second guess this one. Forward movement. This is your victory, right? We got the four of wands here. We've got the chariot here and then we've got the king of pentacles. You can be dealing with an earth sign. We got cancerian energy here. They are already established. They've got it going on. They, they're just waiting for the right person. And they're going to move on this. There's not going to be any doubt in your mind. And this is the one that you see huge potential for commitment with. Okay? Very hardworking. King of Pentacles, male or female, they like long term. And once they see somebody that they want to get to know and they feel a connection with, um, they pursue. Okay. Um, so there's not going to be any doubt in your mind that this person, 1,000, 1 million, 1 billion, 1 trillion percent wants you. Okay. And you've called them in. You've, you've done the work. And you are creating a completely different reality for your love life with a completely different energy. And thank God, because your type, your previous type, just it ain't working. And I feel like you've realized that. It's just one disappointment after another. So you're calling it in. And like I said, some of you, you know, maybe working that moon energy, those manifestations, and it's it's happening okay so that's beautiful all right pisces love lust or loss that is love and um they're they're not going to be shy about it either not with these not with these two not with that combo mm -mm. All right, I hope that resonates with some of you, most of you, all of you. You can now follow me on all the socials. I'll leave those links down below in the description box. You guys have a beautiful day and a great week, and I'll talk to you soon. Take care, and God bless.